Welcome back guys, hopefully you got this one right. Um, as you're going to see here in the pick and roll, the Jazz are going to try and switch. And what that's going to do is it's going to end up leaving the 6'4 George Hill on the 6'10 Blake Griffin. But Chris Paul can't quite get it to him right away because Derek Favors plays the passing lane pretty well. Uh, and it's also pretty crowded down low as you can see. So Chris Paul is going to wisely wait for uh, Luke Richard and Bamute to clear out to the corner there. Which is going to give Blake Griffin just enough space to post up on the 6'4 George Hill and get an easy bucket. Alright guys, last play here. Thanks for sticking with me for so long. Uh, this is the same play from that first video called Horns Lift. Except this time what's going to change is that uh, instead of going over the screen, Chris Paul's man is going to dip under it. And uh, that's going to leave him with a few choices here. So as you're going to see, once Blake Griffin sets this screen, what do you guys think he should do? Do you think he should go at Mason Plumley, given that he's got a lot of space? Could he attack downhill? Should he hit Blake Griffin with a bounce pass? Do you think that's open? Could he get a roll to the basket? Or does he have enough space to pull up for three there? Do you think that's a smart shot given the circumstances of the game, given the play, and uh, what you're looking at on the court right now? What do you guys think? So uh, click here if you think he should attack Mason Plumley. Click here if you think he should give Blake Griffin the bounce pass. Or click here if you think he should pull up for three.